Hi folks, this is Paul Spick at Cowley's Port taking you through a new listing we just picked up. Uh, this is a 2008 Carver 560 uh, Voyager. It is the second generation of the 570 Pilot House series. Same hull, same running surface, uh, nearly identical boat. What changed was the interior layout uh, and we're going to go through some of that in more detail. But starting here on the exterior of the boat, uh, full hydraulic swim platform. Uh, 250 amp lines uh, to power your boat here at shore. A uh, lot of features on this boat. It's a great live aboard. Uh, a ton of space. Similar amount of space to uh, any condo that you'd take a look at. Uh, all the creature comforts and amenities that you would expect. Uh, secondary station here at the aft, uh, just to make docking a little bit easier. From what the current owner shared with me, he does it from the top deck. Uh, but you do have that secondary station if you're more comfortable with that to view the swim platform so it's really not a problem. Uh, if you look at this boat, the interior, you will not see another like it. Uh, this was custom done uh, for the current owners. It was uh, more of a cream color. They brought it in uh, to kind of a sand or a tan uh, with the upholstery just to make it pop against the white background of the boat. Uh, also, Flexitique flooring. Uh, you'll see that covering here at the aft as well as the uh, top deck station uh, all the way through. That was done after market. Uh, it's done exceptionally. Uh, the finish work is very good, very uniform, um, very well done. Looks like it was done at factory, uh, but again, you won't see another boat with that. You do have starboard steps up to the top deck, uh, both side entry, starboard, and port side. Good amount of space there. I just walked it. Uh, there's a sun pad up front as well, uh, but easy boat to get around as you're docking, uh, using lines, that type of thing. Dual bow thruster, both stern and at the bow. Uh, going into the cabin of the boat, the salon is huge. Uh, probably the better part of, I would guess, over seven feet of headroom here. Uh, going into the galley, which is an open layout. Uh, not unlike you would see at most condos. Uh, does not have the dishwasher. Uh, it does have the refrigerators on both, um, as well as an oven, solid surface cooktop, uh, granite countertops. That was a totally different layout. This is what's going to differ quite a bit from the 570 to the 560, uh, the interior layout. A lot more space, um, very, very nice look. Uh, very well appointed as well. The woodwork, the cabinetry is nice. Uh, DC panel is to our right there. And then the 120 uh, to the left. This is the Sky Lounge. Uh, another big selling feature of this boat. Great entertainer. Um, not only do you have a full galley, but you also have a great lounge up here. Um, probably the better part of 12 feet in a U-shaped arrangement. Uh, you can have any number of folks in here, I would say. It's also quick access up to the top deck, and we'll go ahead and take a tour of that right now. The helm is different than you're going to see on any other boat as well. That's elevated uh, by, I would say, 8 to 10 inches. So it really brings the captain up um, as well. Your controls, pretty standard layout. Raymarine E120 uh, does have radar, could be hooked up to autopilot if you would like as well. Uh, it's pa pair, excuse me, powered by a pair of Volvo uh, D12s. Those are 675 horse each. That's an upgrade. The boat is upgraded to the nines. I don't know of any options uh, that were available at the time a manufacturer that this boat does not have. Uh, great stowage up top. Also uh, Gen Air grill. Secondary little fridge, and then ice maker as well. The Flexity continues throughout. Uh, the current owners had this table made custom as well. That looks like cherry to me, uh, but it's custom cut to the boat. And that fills in uh, for the seating up here on the top deck as well. Uh, nice TV as well. Uh, that was added. Um, easy access, and again, you can head down uh, through this enclosure into the... Uh, the stern of the boat. But great, great layout, very user friendly, um, an easy one to get around, multiple entries uh, up here to your controls. The boat just is really very well cared for. 
uh, professionally cared. Bottom paint uh, was done in the summer of 2016, I believe August, uh, so less than a year on that, call it new. All service is current as well. Hours, the boat has under 200 hours on each of the engines. Generator, I'm not positive on, um, but probably not a whole lot either. We can get a number on that. Uh, but very, very little use on the engines and well maintained. At the starboard uh, midship, you do have an access door uh, to head out to the bow as well. Very handy for throwing lines, anything like that. Going in, this is a three stateroom boat. We're going to start forward in the V berth. Uh, very, very nice bedroom. As nice as any you would see uh, in any other 40 foot boat. Uh, really, the VIP stateroom. Uh, really, really shines, but this one is pretty nice as well. You do have access into the head. This is a shared head. And then bunk berths here, these will fill in uh, up top for a bunk. Good amount of stowage, and I think that's what it's going to turn into, or a little kid's room, that type of thing. Uh, but great hallway. You don't feel like you're trapped in this boat. Uh, another thing that really stands out is the amount of uh, light that you get as well. This is a VIP stateroom, uh, full-length mirror on the uh, the rear wall there. Great windows, lets in a lot of light. We're in a covered slip right now, uh, and you still get a lot of natural light in here, so you don't feel like you're stuck down in a cave, so to speak. Uh, great vanity, again, solid surface, uh, nice finishing work, nice touches, uh, vacuum flush head there, separate from the bath and shower. There's a full tub as well, and then uh, standard shower, but that is separate. So the head will be dry, the shower is wet. Um, nice TV there, that is separate from the rest of the AV systems. Cedar line closet, uh, definitely a must if you're keeping a lot of boat clothes for the fall and winter in here throughout the summer. It will get musty, that definitely helps, uh, but very nice touches. Uh, all the hardwood is just immaculate. Uh, sliding pocket doors. Here, there's one little scratch crack here to point out. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty minor stuff. Um, just a little crack in the door. But uh, honestly, going throughout the boat, that's about the only thing I could find. Um, very, very well kept and a great layout. This is a freshwater boat as well, uh, originally sold in Texas. Uh, the boat was shipped up uh, several seasons ago by the current owners. Uh, it was in saltwater one time for a sea trial and then uh, dismantled, shipped north, and has been in freshwater since. It was never run for any period of time, uh, so to speak, in salt. So very, very nice boat, great layout, a fraction of the prices you would pay new. Uh, in every appointment you could want. Look us up online if you haven't already, www.kellysport.com.